What risk factors usually need to be considered in a loan? Here are some main factors LTV, CLTV, HCLTV, Asset and Reserves, Debt to Income, DACR, and FICO scores. FICO score will directly affect your loan approval and interest rate. For example, credit cards and loans are generally not available if your credit card is below 580. If you have a credit score between 580 and 670, you can apply for a loan, but the interest rate will be higher. FICO score over 700 is pretty good, and you'll get the best rate if you have a score over 760. No matter purchase or refinance, you need to have enough money to cover the cost or down payment of the loan. How do you prove that you have enough money to pay for their loans or down payment? Banks usually need the last two months bank statement to prove the borrower have enough money. Meanwhile, the bank will check and verify the source of the large unloan income in the bank statement. Otherwise, the large unloan income cannot be used for the loan. The large unknown income is usually that above half of the approved gross income. Anyway, there are some loans allow the borrower to use gift funds to cover the down payment and other fees. Then, what is reserve of a loan? Reserve is a account reserve balance that exists as a contingency. You can use the balance of your savings account to pay off your mortgage temporarily even if you lose your job. Generally speaking, the more assets and reserves you have, the less risky the loan is. For non-QM loan, assets and reserves are basically needed, and there will be more conditions required if you cannot provide assets and reserves. For QM loan, the requirement of assets and reserves depends on the results of the LP or DU report. LTV is short for Loan to Value Ratio. It's a percentage of money borrowed compared to the value of the home. For example, if you borrow $150,000 on a $200,000 home, you have a 75% Loan to Value Ratio. The more you borrow, the higher the ratio. CLTV stands for Combined Loan to Value Ratio. This takes all loans on the property into consideration. For instance, if you have a new mortgage loan and a home equity loan, they both make up the CLTV. HCLTV stands for High Combined Loan to Value. It is obtained by the sum of a new mortgage loan amount and credit limit of the hair loss. Here is an example. If you have a new mortgage loan amount, which is 250,000, hair lock unpaid balance 50,000, credit limit of the hair lock 100,000, sales price 400,000, Appraise the value 395,000, then the LTV will be about 63%, CLTV will be 75%, HCLTV will be about 88%. What is DTI and how to calculate it? The debt-to-income ratio is a personal finance measure that compares an individual's monthly debt payment to their monthly gross income. It is the percentage of your gross monthly income that goes to paying your monthly debt payments. Your gross income is your pay before taxes and other deductions are taken out. If you want to apply for a mortgage loan, your DTI must be under 50% or lower. Here's an example showing how to calculate your DTI. This is John and here is his monthly bills and income. His total payment is $2,720 and his gross income is $6,800. Then we can calculate his DTI is 40%. What is DSCR? DSCR is short for Debt Service Coverage Ratio. It is usually widely used in the field of real estate investment and commercial loans to analyze the degree of risk of an investment. Today, we will focus on the definition of DSCR from the perspective of residential mortgage investment and uncover the mystery of DSCR progress. In the residential mortgage investment industry, DSCR refers to the ratio of monthly rental income of an investment property to housing costs such as principal, interest, tax, insurance, and HOA. The smaller the ratio is, the greater the risk of the investment. Occupancy ratio here is usually considered by the mortgage bank. For example, some houses have not been rented in the past year. 
The bank usually uses it to avoid the risk of overestimating rental income, considering the vacancy of the houses. It's usually 75%. DSCR program is a residential mortgage product designed in combination with the risk factor of DSCR. The Residential Mortgage Bank analyzes the loan risk of the target mortgage through the rental income of the mortgage and the cost of the house, so as to make loans to real estate investors. This is DSCR program. That's all for today. If you plan to get a home loan or refinance, please call or email us to get free consultation immediately.